Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Ghostwolf Alpha, back again with another stream tonight. How are y'all doing tonight, chat? Chat, I hope you're all doing well. If not, I hope, well, I hope this stream helps serves to cheer you up. Today is Monday, September 30th of 2024. And since I, since there's no, since I decided to choose what game tonight, I chose Star Trek Online. Now, where we last left off is we were about to go rescue Martok from the Briar Patch. Since his quote-unquote death wasn't really a death, he was just simply kidnapped and brought to a facility there. So, let's get started, shall we? Alright, brush fire. Gavan, your assistance on this mission is appreciated. Martok is being held here. The sort of facilities of parts, and their true masters are the cowardly Vec of House Torg. They hold their enemies here and deny them a warrior's death. I intend to show them the price of their dishonor. What's your plan, General? Begin by jamming the sonar comm signals. Should we encounter any sonar patrols, eliminate them quickly before they can summon reinforcements. The pockets of Metreon gas may be of tactical use to us. A well-placed volley could ignite them. Timed right, they can become our weapons. Understood. Ready whatever you are. Let's activate jamming frequencies. Metreon gas has a four kilometer That likes to blast. fire on its own now, it seems. Cruiser. Done with the patrols. Let's just do this. Time for stealth has come. 
We will infiltrate the sauna facility in disguise. I will be wearing the uniform of House Tor, and your away team will be my prisoners. That's a bold plan, General. Yes, that is why it will succeed. Beam to my ship, and we will take a shuttle to the prison. Alrighty then. Let's beam on over to a ship then. The maximum security area lies ahead. Follow my lead, and we will infiltrate the cell block where they are holding Martok. Remember, you are prisoners. Stay within the red lines, obey all commands, and do not engage the guards until I give you the signal. All right, lead the way, General. See all those turrets? If you step out of line, they are prepared to remind you of your place. Great, just great. Five more lifers! What did you idiots do to earn such dishonor? Not my concern. My concern is to bring them here now. Fair enough. I have plenty of time to find out. Go straight ahead to processing. What a miserable bunch of backtalk! Get these convicts out of my sight! Watch for patrols. We may need to fight them on the way out. Oh, here's something that I... Don't think you know. I actually met JG. Prisoners Hertzler. to the back wall for processing. He was at a local Comic Con, which really wasn't that much of a Comic Con I anyway. Don't see anything about five new prisoners? Not my concern. Should I tell Torg that you are not ready to receive them? That won't be necessary. We'll process them. Sign here. We've come for the Butcher! Bring me Bartok! Patience! We're out-processing him now! You! Take these convicts to their cells and be quick about it! Quick. Right. Move along, convicts! Don't make me ask you again! Move along, convicts. Don't make me ask you again. I'm moving, I'm moving. Torg is allied with the Zinkethi. There is no end to his dishonor. Martok defeated many Zinkethi in close combat. It is why they call him the Butcher. Can't wait to get out of this. I haven't seen you around here before. I'm new. What of it? Well, put those convicts in their place and we can get some blood wine after our shifts. Give me a reason to break you, Patak. We have lots of time to play. Yeah, yeah. Martok, we've come for you! Have you now? Wait, I know your face. One of Moog's sons fights under Torg's banner? Disappointing! Moog? I am Rudek, son of Nagra, an ally of your house, old man. This is no time for talk. Arm yourself before the guards. What is this? Explain yourselves! 
<laughs> Isn't it obvious? I'm leaving, you piece of Plakta. I think the Zinkethi disagree with you, Martok. I think you miserable, Takek. I think these Zinkethi so know their place. <laughs> I think we're going to need a different weapon. Oh. Good. Got some endeavor if stuff. If I am to die, I will die in battle. Something on your mind? Sure, one second. There we go. How did you wind up here, General? I fought Jem Park, felt his blade strike home, and died the death of a warrior. Until Torg had his doctors bring me back. He denied me honorable death. Denied me the halls of Stovokor. And locked me away like so much Baktag. He has much to answer for. Indeed. Time is critical here. What would you ask of me? So how have you survived? The metaphasic radiation. It's why Torg keeps us here. He can beat us to the edge of death. Then let the radiation slowly restore us to health. He is as cruel as he is dishonorable. And he will pay for his crimes. Time is critical here. Anyway, what you ask of me? What do Torg and the Zankethi want with you? Torg boasts about it often. He wants to replace Jem Park as Chancellor, and he allied with the Zankethi to do it. For some reason, he thinks they can beat us this time. Idiot! In return, Torg pledged to keep the Empire out of Zenkethi affairs, and to turn me over to them. They still hate me for my victory at Senketh Three. They will now succeed this time. Time is critical Let's here. get moving, what General. What you ask of me? Let's get moving, General. There's another here who deserves that honor. A friend, and a warrior born. His cell is not far. We will liberate him. Do you think that's wise, General? There's nothing unwise about adding a strong arm to your ranks. The console to the left controls the door. The one to the right controls the turrets. Override it. And friend becomes foe. Ah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Let's move. I can find where the turret... Where the... No, no, that's wrong. Let's override those turrets. Turn on, or say, open the door. There he is, across the way. Marta, this warrior you speak of is a Jephthah. What of it? The war is over, and he has earned my respect. Come out. We have work to do. I stand ready to fight. Who's this? This is Rodek, son of Mo- uh, Nagra. Well met. I am First Cover Kara, and I am- I know the rest, Jephthah. Martok speaks for you. That is enough for me. Time to go. Yep. I can't get the rest of you out, I'm sorry! <laughs> they have locked down the facility. Their doors will not stop the charges I brought along, however. We can blast our way back to the elevator. Alrighty then, let's go! Those charges can be of use in other ways. Torg has been running the pathetic remains of his house from this place, blowing up critical targets within it will hinder him greatly. As long as it doesn't impair the mission, I'm in. Alert. Jailbreak in progress. Torg's office lies behind this door. If we're lucky, he'll be in it. Until I run him through, that is. If he's not there, destroy his private computer. He stores all of his critical data on it. 
Losing him will weaken him considerably. And then what? We forge on until we reach the main security office. From there, we can override the rest of the turrets and take out the alarm system. Hey, Yoza, how you doing? Anyway, what about any nearby turrets? Use the console by the door to override them. Take care of the rest at main security. Remember, Torg's lackeys and his needs and Kethi friends will try to stop us. Be sure to stop them first. Agreed. Alrighty, let's... Write the turret controls. Set up a charge. Fire in the hole. I accidentally hit the button a few um, a few times while trying to fix something. That's what happened with all those quote unquote sink drops. I need to disable that button later. Torg's office, but no. That wasn't what I was trying to go for. I trying to pick up an item, not... No, uh, technically it's House, Tor uh, house Torg Prison. A very dishonored house. Let's download his files. The most yes. recent file is a to bill of sale for some... To some fight. To sort of large torpedo. Interesting. Torg bought it from the Zenkethe. Doesn't say what kind of torpedo it is. It must be it's new. It's also um, and owned up, by the Sona. Considering the amount he paid for it. Okay, the Alliance will want to know about this. And let's blow it up. Do do do. This will hurt Torg. At least until I kill him. Hi! Have you heard about bull like balls? <laughs> the butcher of Zenkhet 3! Kill him! Main security is ours. Override the turrets, then set your charges. We have business elsewhere. Indeed, get to a safe position. Take the long way around, but it's easier this way. The butcher still lives. Unacceptable. Bring me his head now. You. I should have known not to trust you. Yeah, well, it's a little bit too late for that. Why aren't you going down? Witness the strength of a true Jem'Hadar! I'm just moving on.
Nay, we were all taken through here to an exercise area. As we passed, I saw a Sona engineer working on these panels. All enemies they of control the Empire power to the cell will doors. Fall. All of them. Blow up the panels, and all the prisoners go free. I expect they will be eager to settle accounts with their guards. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for the guards. Almost. Set up the charges. There, they're now free. There we go. Oh, not that one. Wrong way. It is good to feel a blade in my hands again. Better to use it on my enemies. Keep moving. Almost there. And Kathy, got those items. I got the items. I get the hell out of Dodge. Final charge is all set. It's time to evacuate. When we reach the roof, our ships can pick us up. Let's go then. The elevator's offline. How will we escape? We will use a grappling device to reach the rooftop. Once we're out, we will deactivate the Sona shield generator to clear a path for our ships. This is highly unorthodox. Yes, an audacious plan, worthy of a true Klingon warrior. You honor your house and mine. When we are free of this place, we have much to discuss. Okay, things are heating up, Admiral. Sonas and Kathy and House Torque ships are closing on, closing on our position. You need a little time to shake them off before you can pick them up. Yeah, get here as soon as you can. Wiles out. I see the warriors of House Torg and Zenketh have come to test us. Fill the halls of Grafor with their souls! Kapla! I told Lady Sorella that I would bring you home, Maka. I intend to honor the promise. Filthy Karoots to fight. Good. I can use the exercise. Now I know why Gemma Gravity pull device pulls when they cross the anomaly. them all to Grapple! What do you think I'm doing? I know Mac is slow, but that actually the change I know I'm moving slow, but it's a case of I got you fight well, Alive. Oh, I forgot the name of 
Super good zoomed in. Enemy forces are larger than we expect. Okay, I'm taking some cover here so I can change up my weapon. Let's go with the minigun. Get out of here. The battlefield is ours. Now we must destroy the Sona shield generator to clear the way for our ships. Understood. Shield generator is over here. Oops, over there. <laughs> Shut it down. Rodak, the core. The shield is down. Prepare to extract. Martok! You call yourself a warrior? A leader? I call you a coward and a butcher. I will avenge your victims. I think not, Senkethi. Not while I live. Jemada, <laughs> weakling. Go now and join your changing guards. Oh. No! a gem hadar not a not a klingon That's all right. <laughs> Klingon filth! We're not finished here! Yes. We are. There we go, got rid of him. Scarlet Twiles, we're in transport rage, ready to energize your command. Get us out of here now! <laughs> I will take Martok with me to the core. Perhaps after the battle he can explain some of the strange things he said in his cell. Yeah, let's go. I missed those items, oh well. The enemy is near. We are out of oh my god. Reinforcements should arrive. Let's hope we're still here when they arrive. Warning. Ship is under attack. On your way. On your way. Here comes. 
the rights of vengeance. Face me in battle, or I'll kill you where you stand. Delivering your corpse to the Jinkati. <laughs> What's left of it, anyway? Claim command of this vessel. Any objections? No? Then make ready for battle. Hostile vessels. We are we still close to the last leg of the attack without you have any What did you do? It's other than the taste of their bombs on your lips. Must deny not maintain red alert. Yes, finally we've got reinforcements. General Rodick, I do hope you have my husband with you, preferably intact. I am Worf, son of Moog. Gintok to the House of Martok. The House of Torg must not be allowed to survive this day. Wish you success, General, until we meet again. It has been a day of victory, and yet I am troubled. These things that Martok says, that I am a son of a different father, brother to a warrior I barely know, that I lived the life of another man. There is much I have to learn, but now is not the time. I must return Martok to Quanos before the enemy regroups. Until then, fight well. Serve with honor, General. Kapla! Not yet. We're not leaving quite yet. We need to take those items. There we go, and now we leave. It has been a day of victory. And there we go. Command. Klingon political intrigues are never boring. 
that's for sure. It's my understanding that Martok isn't going to pursue the Chancellery, which should make a number of people in the Empire sleep a little easier. A Klingon civil war is something best avoided. Trust me. Martok has considerable experience dealing with the Zenkethi, and has offered his services to the Alliance in that regard. There's a good chance you haven't seen the last of the General. Alrighty then. And we'll take the torpedo launcher. Why not? Next mission. Beyond the we Nexus. We recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship we thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. We sent the USS Madison out to investigate, but they haven't checked in for some time. Considering the Nexus is involved, they could be in trouble. The Madison's last known position was in the Rotenev system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. Alrighty then. And I think I know what I'm going to get. It's either this or this. Lean towards... Actually, no. I'm going to take the high-density beam rifle. First, accept... And let's go to the Rotenev system. By the way, in case you're wondering about the the typhoon, I am at 28 out of 40 here. <laughs> All right, let's begin beyond the Nexus. Good to see you again. Looks like the two missing ships are here, although they're both in a disabled state. Neither of them have responded to our hails. That's entirely oh, possible. One second, I think I double-clicked by accident. Good to see you again. Looks like the two missing ships are here, although they're both okay, in a disabled yeah. state. That's entirely possible. Continue. Even minimal exposure to the Nexus can be pretty disruptive to ship systems. I think there was something mi I think we should take a closer messed look. up there, so... Things could be worse than our initial scans have indicated. Okay, let's get closer and scan them. Okay, hail from the Madison. Apologies. The ship's taken some damage here. Short-range comms are barely working, and we're experiencing widespread systems failure on all decks. Our Nexus defense screen's overloaded, and we were exposed to a full blast. We're lucky to be here. We could use your help. We're on our way. Uh, Admiral, the Challenger is hailing us. On screen. Something's not right here. I worked on the Nexus Defense Screens project, and a catastrophic failure like that seems unlikely. In an overload situation like she described, the ship wouldn't be disabled. It'd be destroyed. Let's get a short-range scan. Scan the Madison. I'm picking up some Nexus radiation and signs of minor combat damage on both ships. Nothing close to what the captain of the Madison was claiming. Admiral, the Madison's ray shields are powering up their weapons. Red alert, all hands battle stations. Oh great, there goes the Challenger. Whatever they fired just disrupted most of our systems. We're sending ducks over here. Let's disable the Madison. We're still trying to figure out what they hit us with over here. Whatever it was, it knocked most of our systems out. We're running on emergency power. I think we'd better get over there and find out what's going on while we still have a functioning ship between us. Meet me at these coordinates on deck 10. Alrighty then, let's beam on over. I'll take Tarsi with me. Looks like someone activated the security system on this deck. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about that system. The console here is offline, but there should be a functional one nearby in a holodeck. From there, we can access the system and shut the fields down. Sounds like a plan. Before we do, need a different weapon. And 
And I'm thinking the assimilated plasma sniper. Alright. This holodeck's damaged. Let's try the next one. Yeah. Alright, let's get to work. With luck, we should be able to bypass the system and drop those... Wait. Something wrong, Captain? Someone's loading up a holodeck program in here, and I've got a feeling it's not for R&R. &R. Ready weapons. Activating program Barkley, 42 Epsilon. Safety protocols are disengaged. Please, help us! The Borg are everywhere! Well, at least they're holographic. Program's locked. We'll have to survive the battle to leave. Last wave. Unless they change the program. Don't jinx us. Here we go. Oh, thank you. If there's anything I can do to repay you, anything at all. <coughs> Computer, pause program. That's definitely a Reg Barkley program. Let's get back to business. We'd better bypass security before they send more sparring partners to deal with. Yeah, let's use the hot deck arch controls. Okay, a little for the security. This is technically the same as the as the ore mining mini game. Okay. That did it. Security systems are down on this deck. And they won't be putting us into another holodeck scenario anytime soon. Excellent. This is Commander Tabai. Please respond. I repeat, if you can hear this, come to 10 forward at once. There's. We're be barely reading you here. Our defenses just dropped. We require your assistance. They are closing on us. Hurry. It won't be long before they attack. Who's gonna attack? Someone's jamming that signal. We'd better get to 10 forward. Agreed. Oh, wrong way. Here we go. Thank you for coming. The Madison has been taken over by hostile forces, and we are in dire need of assistance. What happened here? We responded to a distress call from USS Forrestal. Long thought lost. Oh, I was trying to set this down while I can, anyway. Thank you for coming. We responded to a distress call from USS Forrestal. Long thought lost to the Nexus. As we closed to assist, the Madison was struck by a potent beam of psionic energy. It disabled the ship and left us vulnerable to attack. Mind-controlled members of the Forrestal's crew then beamed over and took control of this vessel. We few are all that remain free. Who or what is behind this? An alien of tremendous psionic ability, formerly trapped within the Nexus. We believe it lured the Forrestal there in an escape attempt, which failed. Somehow, it was able to break free when the Nexus recently returned. Though powerful, there are limits to the alien's ability. The combat with your ship has weakened it considerably. Now is the time to strike. The controlled crew are bound to attack again soon. All right, said weapons is done, everyone. Picking up transporter signals, multiple contacts. We've got incoming. Enemy contacts inbound. Ah! Frickin' stun grenades. Looks like we bought ourselves a little time. We should discuss our next move soon. 
You might talk with some of the survivors here for more information as well. Your call. Thank you, Captain. Let's speak to the bartender. Oh, am I glad to see you. Things were looking more than a little ugly until you got here. I'd pour you a drink, but all of the replicators went offline an hour ago. How are you holding up? As good as can be, under the circumstances. Still amazed we haven't been, um, dominated by that alien. The commander thinks it's because we all come from a species with psionic abilities. As good a reason as any, I suppose. That's a sensible theory. Ensign Saitel, security. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Our numbers have dwindled considerably since the enemy's initial assault. Until your arrival, I calculated our odds of survival at 4,286 to 1. How are you now, Ensign? Difficult to fully assess at this juncture. However, I am willing to state that our odds have improved considerably. If all of you were psionics, our odds would be even better. The alien is quite ineffective against those with mental abilities. I see. Carry on. Ensign Rana, Engineering. Sorry for staring, Captain LaForge. Your work on Transwarp Theory was required reading at the Academy. I never thought I'd actually meet you. Wish it were under different circumstances. Report, Ensign? Right. Well, they, they hit Main Engineering first. If you're going down there, be on your guard. Several of us tried to take it back a couple of days ago. They beamed in and took us by surprise. I was the only one to make it back here. Don't let it wear you down. All right. I have a feeling these attacks will intensify as the alien gains strength. If we're going to do something to save this ship, we'll need to do it fast. Let's get down to main engineering. I think we can get a better grip on the security system there and use it to incapacitate both the hostile crew and the alien. Agreed. Take these psionic inhibitors with you. We hope to use them on some of our dominated crewmates prior to your arrival. But I suspect they will serve you better at this time. They should protect you if the alien attempts to take control of your minds. Think, Commander? Let's get down to engineering. Ah, the force field's down. Good. To the turbo lift. To engineering. Watch it! They're beaming in reinforcements! And there- Heads up! More hostiles incoming! Oh, behind us! <laughs> Go. We've got a couple of problems here. Main power's offline, and there's a lot of Nexus radiation getting past the screens. I'll handle the power situation while you deal with the radiation. Once that's done, we can bring the security systems back online. Understood. So recalibrate the screens. There we go. Nice work. Radiation levels are back in the safe zone, and I've managed to prime the warp core. Give me a hand with it, and we can restore main power. Alrighty then, let's go. Take, the, take that item, and prime it. That did it. Main power's back online, and warp core is stable. I've activated most of the security systems, but it looks like the bridge is still under enemy control. Good bet. That's where the alien is. Let's take the bridge then. Turbo 
lift and go to the bridge. This ship and all upon it belong to Cosmur. Starfleet disagrees with you on that. Your words mean nothing. Kill them. Kill them now. We are here to assist you. And he's gone. Off here, anyway. I'm reading the alien on sensors. It's back on the forestall. This isn't over yet. Recommendations? The Challenger might be able to fight, but most of this ship's crew is unconscious. Beam back to your ship and deal with the forestall. I'll do what I can here to get the shields up and keep the Madison in one piece. Understood. Good luck, Captain. Let's beam on over. Okay, Admiral will be inhaled by the Forestall. I think it's the alien. On screen. Shall the battle continue? Shall you strike me anew again and again until nothing remains? Stand down, the fight's over. Once I was imprisoned within the Nexus, cast away for defying those who called themselves my rulers. And now a new jailer comes. Demanding submission. Release the ship and her crew. No, I need this ship and everyone on it. They give me what I need to return home and avenge my imprisonment. I will not give them up. Unfortunate tactical fire to disable. The challenger. Take it to custody alive. If that isn't my fate, uh. I yield. The ship and crew are yours. It is an unexpected mercy, one I would not extend to a vanquished foe on the battlefield. Much has changed since my banishment to the Nexus. You made the right choice. Admiral will be inhaled by the Madison. Put them on screen. Nicely done. I was able to get a call into Starfleet, and we should have backup here soon. In the meantime, I'll keep working with the crews of the disabled ships. We'll have them up and running again in no time. Glad to hear it. You saved a lot of lives here today. You showed mercy to someone who wasn't inclined to return the favor. That goes a long way in my book. Thank you, Captain. You're welcome. The Nexus is definitely worth studying, but only under safe conditions. The crews of the Forestall and the Madison found that out the hard way, I'm afraid. Just like we did on the Enterprise all those years ago. Likewise, safe travels, Captain. And let's get out of here. Hmm, interesting report. This alien was trapped for eons in the Nexus and wanted to leave? As I understand it, the Nexus is a paradise. Apparently there's at least one life form out there who disagrees. Fortunately, you saved a lot of lives and three Starfleet vessels. Captain LaForge tells me they'll spend some time in space dock, but they'll be ready for duty again soon. And we can use all the ships we can get on the frontier these days. Well done. Thank you. Oh, originally, when, uh, originally for my ship's build, before I was able to get this, the Advanced Inhibiting Phaser Omnidirectional Beam Array, I was originally, originally trying to work for towards this, the Triolithium Omni one, but 
Well, I got the Tier 6 Reputation Gamma Task Force first beforehand. <laughs> so, that tells you a lot there. <laughs> Alright, let's collect... Let's get that High Density Beam Rifle Type 3. Collect that. Next. Melting Pot. The Kentari and Lucari Ooh, governments you. have begun work on a joint colonial site in the Draenor system. Starfleet has been assisting both groups on the project, as have other Alliance members. I'd like you to join the effort and help them get things moving forward. There's been Zenkethi activity in neighboring sectors, and both the Lucari and Kentari have clashed with them in the past. Dranur itself has little tactical value, but the Zenkethi are known to carry a grudge. Keep that colony safe. Alrighty then, let's get to it. And I think... There's nothing there really except for this that I want to get. I'll take that and I'll be salvaging it. To the Draenor system. Alright, let's begin the melting pot. Welcome to the Draenor system. Construction of the colony is underway and on schedule. We're lucky we would have missed this system if the crew of our survey ship hadn't taken a closer look at the anomaly here. It's quite unusual, unusual, isn't it? Very. The anomaly orbits both the planet and its moon, and appears to be stable. It's also very disruptive to long-range sensors. The USS Challenger's team has been very helpful. They've installed several planetary defense systems and provided a number of modular building units for use at the colony site. Yeah, Starfleet is quite adept at, col co at colonial operations. Captain LaForge is standing by on the Challenger. Let's not keep him waiting. Acknowledge Helm, set a course to the Challenger's location. Good to see you. I hope the Dranur Anomaly didn't give you too much trouble getting here. We've been working with the Kentari and the Lucari to study it. We know it's some sort of subspace disruption, similar to what Starfleet has seen in the Delta Triangle. Not only does it cause sensors to behave erratically, but it seems to create a limited sort of cloaking field, both for the planet and the moon. Captain Kumarke and I have been collecting data on the Anomaly, but we could use some more. Mind lending us a hand before we head down to the colony? Of course. Let's begin with a system scan. I've seen some strange data at that level. Same here. It'll be good to get some more eyes on this. We're having trouble getting any readings from the lateral sensors. The anomaly in this area is intense. We may need to get to close range to get more meaningful results. Alrighty then. Triangulated position for a new scan. Curious. It isn't just our sensors, Captain LaForge. Agreed. Let's calibrate sensors inside the anomaly. It might cut down on the interference. Oh, that needs to be big. There we go. I indicated an ideal area. Let's try again there. We're making progress, but I can't completely filter the sensor noise. Let's study those asteroids. There could be clues in how the anomaly affects them. Let's get a core sample. Whoa! Stop the engine. How peculiar. This material isn't orbiting, it's just drifting. Alright, let's collect hmm. the sample. S-type asteroids, mostly iron and silicates. Nothing out of the ordinary. One of our emitters is giving some strange readings. Let's take a closer look. Okay, to the emitter. Looks like the emitter relays are offline. We'll need to realign them. Well done. I'd like to run a spectral analysis at the indicated area. 
Let's send a probe to the moon and collect some data on long-term anomaly exposure. Okay then. Agreed. Probe. But we'll need to get closer to the moon first. Okay. We have some good data to work with here. Our science teams have extensive facilities on Dranur. They can help. Sounds good. I'll see you planet side. And we are almost in orbit. I'm eager to show you the progress we've made here. We've done a lot in a short period of time, and I think you'll be impressed. Ready to beam down and see what we've been working on? Yes, siri. Take Tarsi and Tomet. By the way, I just want to check up on you, chat. How are y'all doing? Hope you're all doing well. And if you're new, and if you're new here, hi. My name's Ghost Wolf Alpha. I usually stream Baltic on Fridays. Any game I choose on Mondays and Tuesdays. If you, any of this is interesting to you right now, please hit that heart icon down below. Uh, I have to wait. Welcome to the colony. Kumarke was just telling me a bit about some recent energy tech improvements. Let's take a look around. Oh, what they've built already is quite impressive. As an engineer, I'm impressed by the technology that our partners brought to this project. Working with it has been a rewarding experience for all of us. Eat on, Captain. Welcome. I'm Kajima, one of the industrial designers. Our colony may be fairly new, but well, that's we've good, already Yoza. accomplished a great deal. I hope you find our work here interesting. The Federation is always glad to be of assistance with Fletching colonies. We're trying to build an industrial infrastructure while respecting Lucari design recommendations. It's, uh, let's say, challenging. For instance, they've included considerable xenoscaping. They're committed to incorporating native plant life into the design spaces. It takes considerable effort, but it does mean that our structures are less susceptible to invasive problems with local plant life. Aesthetic as well as functional. We'll keep an eye out for that. Dranur is quite the hidden paradise, don't you think? Yeah, it's a lovely place. We only place. needed a minimum level of terraforming here. The fusion of Lucari and Kentari technology has been very effective. Our integrated tech output continues to impress. This display will confirm that. As you can see, our energy grid uses an array of natural power sources. This is the first of many hydropower sites on Dranur. Use of waterfall. Is it? Quite a sight, isn't it? I'm surveying the output as part of setting up hydropower here. How much power do you think this waterfall will generate? I'd eyeball this at a base of three kilowatts, which doesn't seem like much until you consider that there are falls like this all over the coast. They seem to be active year-round. Now the challenge will be to capture that energy without disrupting the ecosystem. Um, I'm curious. I notice you're wearing a breathing mask, but the air here is polluted. My lungs were damaged by toxic gases on New Kentar. It's made me more conscious of the need to regulate the pollution that we generate. And more appreciative of what we have here. Alrighty then. And thank you for your time. Come upstairs. There's an excellent view of the colony grounds.
Man, there's definitely quite the view there. The beauty of this world will survive only if we work to preserve and protect it. Let's head up to the science lab. They're working on some exciting projects. As you can see, we've made considerable progress here. Indeed. I'm quite proud of our achievements. There's more to be done, but the foundation we've laid is solid. Right over there. Fair warning, our researchers can be a bit... eccentric. We should be able to get results from one of the lab consoles here. So there's a massive amount of data coming in from the probe. Some of the things that stand out include the fact that the lunar scale is relative, is relative to the planet, only slightly larger than Earth's moon, and that the moon has a high density core and a large amount of silicate and germanium dust. Nothing extraordinary, but it just underscores how much we run into the worlds that seem familiar with, to us. Alright, let's see what the scientists have to say. Ah, we've been expecting you. You've sent a good deal of interesting data to us. We've already been analyzing it. I'll let my companion Eschel explain the findings in more detail. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit early, but do you have any interesting results you you can share? Uh, thank you, my dear. Uh, the first thing I realized is that the inert particles should be orbiting to obey gravity rather than holding position. I've been focusing my attention there, while Ursha has been reviewing the logs from the disabled satellite. Here, check the probe data from the moon. If some outside force was acting on the particles, it should also be affecting the moon. That seems like a good starting place. Funny. My ocular implants are picking up a noticeable amount of germanium here. There wasn't any outside. Where did that come from? Germanium in here too? Ah, we do have a few of the crystals here. Oh, strictly for study, of course. <laughs> Don't worry. The anomaly prevents outside scans from detecting them. Oh, they're very safe down here. See what they look like. Here, I'll show you. You brought those here? Despite the danger they present? This was the best way to study them. We needed the lab's facilities. Oh, besides, we were just going to take them back to the moon when we finished. Uh, just a moment. I'm getting a message. Captain Kumarke, Zenkethi ships have just entered the system. They're firing an unknown projectile at the moon. It's some kind of protomatter torpedo. Proto-matter torpedo? That's not good. I agree. Their ships are turning toward the planet. If they have a torpedo, they may be able to hit us from orbit. The Zenkethi are ruthless. We need to ready our defenses. Why now? Why are they so interested in these crystals? The crystals! They're... hatching? What is that? <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Some heavy are turning toward the planet. They're heading for us. We need to get the colony's defenses online right now. Agreed. Get out of here and back... Go to technical stations. Is that what they're trying to destroy? <laughs> ah! 
How many crystals did you break bring back, you scientists? I think I can tap into their comms from here. Hold on. Head downstairs to the next set of controls. <laughs> Not a good thing. I think I need to change up the weapon. Get rid of those new. I think I'm gonna need the mini gun again. But you know, let's go with the full auto rifle. Stairs. They're really bypassing the shield here. is blocking the way. Head down to the beach and around. We're still tapped into Zinketi comms. Increase your efforts. Eliminate the defenses at once. Hey! Captain Thank you, Bob. game, for doing that. It shall be done, Admiral. Oh no. Turn off your defenses or be destroyed. I wouldn't recommend that. Are you here to bomb us or to eradicate this swarm? Only a few Bansuri here. Let's clear this place and be done. Filthy Critics has burned sheds and scales again. Say them fighting with us is a little bit unexpected, but okay. These little softies are pretty tenacious. Which bugs or the colonists? <laughs> Let's say that is a lot of bugs. <laughs> Okay, I think I need to upgrade to a different weapon. Definitely the minigun. Oh, 
Mansuli infestation has been dealt with. Your assistance is appreciated. The suggestion? This colony has been using open communication channels. That is unwise. You never know who may be listening in out there after all. Now that the menace is destroyed, there's no reason to attack this world. Let me check my scanner. The infestation seems to be eliminated. Usually it's best to be absolutely sure, but there doesn't appear to be a need to waste a protomatter weapon. Don't make this mistake again. Take immediate action if you suspect the presence of Transuli. Thank you for your assistance. This colony world still has an opportunity to flourish. So Kathy's ships are moving into attack position, Admiral. We need you on the bridge as soon as you're able. Alright, let's beam up! The Zenkethi are on attack, Admiral. They appear to be taking down the defenses. Hail the Zenkethi! Zenkethi are now replying to hails, Admiral. They're on a direct assault course. What are your orders? Ugh. Attack now, unfortunately. We're still tapped into Zenkethi comms. to eliminate them, and Zenkethi don't scare easily. Fortunately, some of the Zenkethi are willing to see reason. Things could have been a lot worse if Captain Parr hadn't intervened on our behalf. For now, we need to let the Alliance know what we've learned here. Safe Sa travels. Same to you, Captain LaForge. Command. This new information on the crystals the Zenkethi have been attempting to eradicate is disturbing to say the least. Starfleet will be monitoring the worlds we know of that contain these eggs. We'll be doing all we can to study them and, if necessary, protect them. Despite the incident at Draenor, we don't know if this species is truly hostile. Finally, I've spoken with officials in both the Lucari and Kentari governments. They're going to proceed at Draenor despite the incident. We will continue to assist them in this endeavor and protect them from any Zenkethi reprisals. All right. Like that. Next. Starfleet Intelligence believes a Zenkethi attack on an Alliance world could happen very soon. And with their new protomatter torpedoes, billions of lives could be lost in moments once such an attack begins. We've spotted several Zenkethi fleet groups on the move in the Alpha Quadrant. I'm assigning you to patrol an area near one of those groups. If they launch a protomatter attack, 
I want you in position to put a stop to it. All right. Oh, I want the Mechleth. Our scouts have found an attack element of the Zenkethi fleet. We need to know what they're up to. As your ship is the closest, I'm sending you the intercept coordinates. The Rotaran and Kor are both en route to assist you at high warp. Good luck. Yes, sir. Do, 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 do. You know, I just realized something. I forgot to start the music halfway through this thing. I'm sorry about this, everyone. Uh, let me put on some 90s rock. To their coward's weapon is not acceptable. We will not arrive in time to show them the price of their dishonor. That honor is yours. Teach them well. Kapla! Talk, thank you. Let's warp out here. X system. This is Captain Kumarke. We're on our way to assist you. at the speed of a legless tog. In the meantime, the Zenkethi cowards are targeting another defenseless, inhabited world. You will be that planet's sword and shield. Fight with honor! Let's go! Go ahead. We'll secure things here and join you shortly. those torpedoes there's no need captain car has defected to the alliance she's revealed the next target of the zenkethi fleet bejor 
The intel checks out, so every available ship has been called to defend the planet. Even DS9 is being moved there to assist. The sooner you can get there, the better. Azure must be defended. We're on our way, Captain. So, Ritz and Kathy have set their sights on Beto. Dishonorable Bakhtag. I fought and bled many times over DS9 and Bajor. I would not let them fall to the Dominion, or the Breen, or the Cardassians. And I will not let them fall to the Tsenkethi. Soon we will fight, side by side, in honorable battle. It will be glorious. Let's get going then. You made it. Good. It would be unfortunate if you missed the glory of battle after all you have endured. Captain LaForge has a briefing for you. Review it and prepare for combat. Long-distance scans show a large Sankethi fleet heading our way. They will test us, and we must not be found lacking. Acknowledged. Glad you could make it. We've put together a pretty impressive force to defend the planet from the Sankethi. Let's just hope it's enough. Our objective here is straightforward. Protect Bajor at all costs. Understood. The time for battle is upon us. Fight well. And with honor. Kapla! They're launching protomatter torpedoes. This is Sarish Mina aboard the some critical repairs. I need some assistance in engineering. I want the station ready to face the next wave of Zenkethi when You'll have arrive. them, Commander. <laughs> Give some support teams. Repair crews are safely aboard. Thanks for... Battle stations. <laughs> It's fortress mode. Let's get to it. Play team with me. Ah, the unique smells of a Tenkethi vessel. 
It's been a while. I can't say I've missed the experience. Uh, looks like we're on the tactical deck. Their weapon controls should be down this hallway. They're on full alert here, so expect a full security presence. Understood, Martok. Let's go. Zenkethi ships are closing! Enemy transport detected! All hands, a call order! All ships! This is General Kern! Fire at will! Yeah, I, I kind of agree. Let's override the consoles. Surprised to see me, but sir, let's finish this. Ah, uh, it's you again, Skippy. We have an unwanted guest. Finish him off quickly. That's your new name, Captain Skippy. You tried to end me once before. It won't go any better this time. You fight like a Klingon, Captain. Will you die like one as well? Let's override the console. Zen Warren fought well, but he won't be coming back from that. Yep, I agree. They know we're here. Good. Secure those consoles. Let's override the tactical console and then take care of the torpedo launcher. One to go. Get to it while you can. Clever. Mm. They rerouted their weapons making control an to the command deck. We'll have to storm their command deck, the very heart of the beast. We'll need to use one of their transporters to get there. I saw one on our way here. Let's use it and get this over with. Kapla. Excuse me, you're in my I way. I use short range transporters instead of terminal. I said you're in my way. Now look what I have to do. Transporters. Oh, I am Captain Nefpar. It was I who alerted you. There we go. I am Captain Nefpar. It was I who alerted the Alliance about the attack on Bajor, and it is I who will fight at your side now. The Admiral must be stopped. We now walk the same path. Along with the Butcher of Zenketh III, this is unexpected. It is a day for unusual alliances, it seems. Good to, good to see you again, Captain Parr. Where's the Admiral? Not far, though I warn you, the way there will be heavily guarded. Expect heavy resistance. Unlike myself, the soldiers here remain steadfast in their loyalty to him. All I ask is that he is given a chance to do the right thing and surrender. Far too many have already died in this madness. I'll do what I can. Let's go. Captain Horn, traitor! It's a mutiny! The Admiral walks the path of madness! He must be stopped! So much destruction! So many lives lost! It has to end now!
target the Zenkethi forces and fire! Zenkethi forces on attack vectors. They're relentless. Zen Captain Parr, I see you walk the path of betrayal with one of our most hated enemies, the Butcher himself. Truly, your depravity knows no bounds. And you, the ever-present thorn between my scales, meddling in my affairs at every turn. Your reckless heroism has endangered trillions. You must be so very proud. You could have sought our aid, you know. Oh, who in the Alliance would hear us? The Federation? The Klingons? Both are enemies to us. One too compassionate, and the other too honorable to end millions in order to save untold trillions. Or perhaps the Romulans? A race clinging to life, trapped in the shadow of their former glory, forever under the boot of their alliance partners. A warbird with clipped wings. Pathetic. No. To do what must be done, the Zenkethi were forced to walk that path alone. And thanks to you and others like you, the great doom of the galaxy looms over us all. And I despise you for it. Ah, yes, the so-called Dredgely. You could have asked us for... We could have probably gave you a better solution than genocide, you know. So little do you know of the threat facing us all. And I lack the time or desire to explain it to you now. I offer you two choices. Stand aside, or stand in defiance and die. What say you? No matter the threat, genocide is not an option. You and Zengravu were my best captains, Ned. Today, I lost both of you. This crusade is unjust! And the battle is lost! It's done! Stand down now! Or we will get you down without hesitation! Surrender, Admiral! Or fight, if you have the spine for it! Do you really think the conflict will end here, now? Fools, all of you! Enough! I yield! I yield! How proud you must be! You've saved Bajor and a few more worlds along with it. This will be a cold comfort to you when you lose millions more, of course. Tell your fleet to stand down. Computer, open a fleet-wide channel. All hands, this is the Admiral. An armistice has been reached. Effective immediately. Stand down. You made the right choice. Enjoy your victory while it lasts. And know this. The time will come when you feckless creatures will see the error of your ways. And I want to be there when it happens. I will relish the look of despair on your pathetic faces. In the meantime, computer... Release weapons control to Alliance forces. You can use my command console as you see fit. The station is yours. Very good. I will ensure the Admiral honors the peace. See to it that your people honor it as well. Very well. Let's call down Alpha security. Team reporting. The command deck is locked down. But why are you... This is Beta Team. Commencing operation now. No clue why they attacked. Shut down launch controls. Victory belongs to us! Let's return to our ships and get the necessary reports filed quickly. The Ferengi, who runs the bar on Deep Space Nine, keeps a particular vintage of blood wine in stock for me. And I intend to drain every last drop of his supply. Soon. We will celebrate. For tomorrow, we may die. <laughs> I, intend, I intend to join you, uh, join you for the blood wine on that. Let's get out of here. Incoming data from planets targeted by the Zenkethi. 
Something's happening. What? Show us, Nukari! Show us the price of your meddling! Patching it through. The Jad Core system. Kufano. What the ship is designed for. We must return to our ships immediately. Yeah, let's get to our ships now. <laughs> I know them. The greatest enemy to ever challenge the Empire. The Herc. So this this is the doom the Sankethi speak of. The enemy they'd kill billions to stop. The Herc? The Herc are our greatest foe. An enemy that invaded Kronos over a thousand years ago. No other enemy came so close to ending us. Not even the Iconians. For Klingons, they are the monsters of legend. We thought they were extinct. We were fools. There is lore about the Herc using caretakers, bred to prepare worlds for the return of their masters. I believe what the Sinkethi call Dransuli are those creatures. Wherever they were, the Herc were there as well, sleeping, waiting to return, to attack. And now, it seems that day has come. Recommendations? Recommendations? We fight! There is no honorable alternative. All of our lore tells us that the Herc will attack without fear, without hesitation. If Bajor is to survive, we must meet the Herc in battle. Understood. All hands, battle stations. Many a Klingon has dreamed of battle. Test Your support so we can safely evacuate. 
we face a common foe. Despite our differences, can we count on your aid? You'll have it, Captain. Stand by. Comms are back, but nearly everything else is offline here. Okay, what is it, the Dominion? Can't get a clear reading. Our sensor arrays are pretty banged up over here. Frankly, we have bigger concerns. We're in danger of being overrun by the Herc, and if we fall, Bajor is next. Either way, red alert. Kalis didn't have the Dominion to deal with when he battled his <laughs> comrades. <laughs> Three seconds to court, just before it gets back online.
Alliance Forces, I am Loris Four. I bring you greetings from the Founders. While it should be quite evident that we come to you in peace, I understand that my predecessor was a source of discord during her time here. Trust is important, so please, allow me to return the Alliance personnel we recovered from the battle station before it exploded. As a gesture of good faith. Just so you know, as a little bit of context... One second, let me just bring up episodes of not episodes available. Did I? No, I didn't. It's basically the chain called the 28, there's a 2800. What happened was a significant amount of Dominion forces during the second battle for Deep Space Nine, after they took down the minefield for the wormhole, they got basically taken out of one place by... Uh, <coughs> Uh, I can't think of the words right at the second. Anyway, they got basically shunted in time to current... Oh, hello there, you son of a gun. I don't allow ads... I don't allow people to advertise on my channel. Ah, come on. Let's all tab to... Uh, not that, it's I'm talking about this. And you're banned. Have fun in the Shadow Realm. I don't allow people to add, say, hey, yes, you get some viewers from here at, dot, at, at views dot virus or whatever. Anyway, I was just saying the 2800, Loris was there, at least Loris 3 anyway. And, well, the female changeling from the original Dominion War, um, from Deep Space Nine series, that is, um, was released it back to the Dominion. Anyway, thank you. What brings you here? As always, I live to serve the Founders. I realize the concept of such a selfless existence is often challenging to those in the Alliance. But it really is my only goal in life. As to our presence here... The fleet has traveled here today to bring you a message, but it is not for me to deliver. Then who will deliver it? We have to talk. And the transmission cuts out. I know that changeling. He's called Odo. He used to run security for DS9. And now he's here, in command of a Dominion fleet. Impressive entrance. Whatever this is about, it isn't a matter to be taken lightly. If Odo has something to say, it would be foolish not to listen. The return of both the Dominion and the Herc is no coincidence. I suspect we'll be seeing each other again very soon. Until then, General. Let's get out of here, everyone. You know, the amount of times a pylon gets destroyed is really funny. <laughs> What could have led this Enkethi to attack Bajor? We found no okay, signs Okay, I need to pause the base. music here. Perhaps it was meant to distract us while they pursued their mad crusade elsewhere. Well, unfortunately, that's just the first of our problems. The return of the Herc is cause enough for concern. But the return of the Dominion? That's another matter entirely. While the presence of Odo is reassuring, I've learned the hard way not to take any overtures from the Founders lightly. President Okeg and the Council are sending envoys to DS9 to get to the bottom of this. We've enjoyed peace with the Dominion for some time now. If that's in danger, I want to know about it. Alright. Let's get the Mechleth. Now? Captain Neth Parr has turned herself in to authorities at Deep Space Nine. She's the Zenkethi officer who delivered vital military intelligence to the Alliance prior to the assault on Bajor. Captain Parr is now actively seeking asylum and claims to have more tactical information for us. I'd like you to debrief the Captain and determine the nature of this new information, if possible. All right. <laughs> Free bread. Let's see, what... Uh... Okay, I think I might get the pole arm. 
Or one of the traits like Capeless resistance after being shot from behind or side. I'm not gonna get I get either of those. Don't need that since I'm not using Tetrion. So yeah, definitely the pole arm. And two two deep space nine. And Renegade's Regret. Do 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 do. By the way, I can't wait to get that temporal battle cruise, or see, the, the typhoon. Old, old players like myself definitely remember the kit bash version. And this one, ooh, I like it. Actually, I like the looks of it. And we're at the security office. Let's talk to Rose Senna here. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. The Chief told me to expect you. The Zen Kethi officer is in the far room at the back. A Starfleet captain is speaking to her. Thanks, I'll head back there now. Ah, hey Captain LaForge. Good to see you again. Tensions are running pretty high where the Zen Kethi are concerned, but Captain Parr has gone through a lot to help the Alliance. She deserves a fair shake. Agreed, Captain. How you doing, Captain Parr? We keep meeting under less than ideal conditions. Indeed. So why are you in the brig? The Chief of Security thought it was a prudent measure. Technically, I am under protected custody until the Alliance decides what to do with me. I cannot fault this decision. Our military has much to answer for, myself included. There are many who might see a Zen Kethi face and decide to seek vengeance. Alright, but I trust you. Come on out. Just open up the cell. Oh, hey, there you go. Thank you. Far too many lives. Oh, I was trying to get you to move forward. Thank you. Far too many lives have been lost in this crusade, so I'm glad the tactical data I provided helped to save some. That's an understatement, Captain. No longer. I renounce the title of Captain after committing mutiny. Part of the price I paid to save those lives today. Let's move on. I have more information for the Alliance. I presume you are here to collect it. Uh, yes, that's right. Are you ready to hear my story? Right, let's proceed. Uh, just have to wait for this to load. Yeah, it's also patching at the same time. <laughs> it began on my first mission as captain. I remember it clearly. Captain's Log, Mission Cycle 132. We have arrived at System 91, local designation EOC. Admiral Zen Tarak prepares to conduct Dransuni cleansing operations. Our tactical reports indicate minimal threat from the locals. This should be another egg run. Captain Parr, we are receiving an incoming transmission from Admiral Zen Tarak. Let's not keep the Admiral waiting, Ensign. Put him on screen. 
The planet Eoc. Scans show it to be filthy with the eggs of the hatred Transuli. Their defenses are generally inferior, but their fleet could be dangerous in large numbers. While our ground squad prepares the weapon, we will ensure that no ship leaves this system. If one ship with one egg escapes, the contagion spreads. That is not acceptable. I know this is your first mission as Captain Neth. Don't let your excitement distract you from the task at hand. Stay alert! Of course, Admiral. We're prepared to enforce containment protocol as ordered, sir. See to it that you do, Captain. Zentara, out. Yoki fleet on intercept course. Eliminate them! We have to be the baddies here. <laughs> oh, not again. <sighs> and welcome to the Shadow Realm. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah. Stop escaping ships. No, it's a case if I had to stop because of because of a stupid advertiser. Again, you're not again if you're trying to do ads on my thing, you're, you're gonna get banned. Simple as that. You wish, Admiral. Par out. Trigger the bomb's detonation. <laughs> Excuse me. Thank you, sir. 
I will not forget today's events for a long time, if ever. Pardon system. to do to do took a toll upon me and my crew. To eradicate the Transuli was one thing. The eradication of innocent Ioki was another. Despite my personal feelings, I remained a loyal officer. Things would change under Cronus III. I led the Protomatter Bomb Squad myself. Traconis 3 is a primitive, pre-industrial backwater planet. There is a large infestation. You know what to do, Captain. And Neff, keep your guard up down there. We think the target site is a temple. If that's so, the local savages may try to stop you. Feel free to discourage them. Aggressively, if necessary. Our firepower should discourage them, Admiral. They shouldn't pose much of a threat to the mission. We're good to go here. The weapon's in the green. Protomatter Matrix is stable and primed. The Admiral wants us to deploy the bomb in the largest concentration of Dranzuli eggs. Looks like that's in some type of structure ahead not far from here. Ready to go when you are, Captain. All right, let's move out. Keep an eye out for the locals and make sure the weapon is protected. No more lucky shots like Vernon and Four, okay? The Admiral roared at me for a ten cycle over that. Fifty credits and cut off the bomb. Okay. Oh, I'll take that. I'm standing right here, you know. Concentration of Transuli eggs ahead. Does it matter where we put it? The whole planet gets scoured. Ask the Admiral. I'm sure he'd just love to tell you. You know, after giving you a year of latrine duty. Both of you, shut it. We got a job to do here. Uh, yes, sir. Sorry, Lieutenant. Just stay disciplined. Remember what happened on Hattar. guy just got face usually he got a face full of what was it proto matter laced energy blast <laughs> it's 
examine the exterior murals. They wouldn't want these eggs to hatch if they knew what was inside them. Have the upper, upper mural? What? Are they worshipping the eggs? These fools gathering Drabzuli eggs? Seems so. something interesting as well. Transmitting data now. Starfleet. Interesting. Your scans indicate that image is centuries old. More Federation time travel nonsense, perhaps. Proceed with your mission, Captain. We don't have time for archaeology. Yes, sir. Wait him out. Signatures are most concentrated here. This looks like a prime detonation site, Captain. We'll get the weapon placed and they're ready to go. This won't take long. Who's on Overwatch while we deploy the bomb? That'll be me. Get the weapon ready. I'll make sure you aren't interrupted. Okay, let's exit the temple. Up here. One. One squad reporting. Need to stabilize the proto matrix here. Captain. 
A large assault is imminent. Is the weapon ready to deploy? In moments, sir, that my men are still trapped in the structure. Transporters can't lock onto their signals. Unfortunate, but we don't have time to extract them. We've received a priority assignment from the Autark himself. We must depart at once. Prepare for transport. All right. Sir, give us a little more time. Beam an engineering team down. We can break into the structure with explosives. You have your orders, Captain. Your men are acceptable losses. As are you. Would you like to join them? No, sir. I would not. Oh, that sucks. I left those men to die. And for what? So the Admiral could reach his next genocide on time. It was madness. So there were no evacuation plans? No rescue efforts? None. The Autarch's orders were quite clear on those matters. And the Admiral was all too willing to execute those orders. When we reached the Atosi system, it had become clear. Our crusade was not a just one. Atosi Prime, long distance scans suggested the presence of Dratsuli infestation, but we'll need to be certain. Standard operating procedure, Captain. Begin by conducting a scan of the planet. Yes, sir. Let's hope this was a false alarm. This is Counselor Hale Atunum. I speak for the Atosi people. We know of you, Zenkethi, and your purpose here. If you scan our planet, you'll discover that it is free of the bioform objects you seek to destroy. A scan of our moon will reveal the presence of those objects in totality. When we heard the fate of other worlds like ours, we collected the objects and placed them there for you. Scour the moon as you will. It is devoid of life. Atosi Prime, however, is not. Over four billion souls dwell here. In their name, I ask you now. Spare our world. Spare our lives. Captain, confirm the Counselor's story. Scan both planet and moon. Verify the location of the Dratsuliates. We've been lied to before. And at great cost. I won't be deceived here today! Oh, yes, sir. I'll verify the egg locations. No signs of infestation, Captain. Shall we scan the moon next? Yes. Helm, set a course for the Atosi moon. Captain, I'm reading a large concentration of Transuli eggs on the Atosi moon. Very well. Prepare the torpedo launcher. As you can see, we have been truthful. Torpedo away. Captain, return to the planet and conduct a deep scan. I want to be absolutely certain there is no remaining infestation within this system. As you wish, Admiral. Report, Captain. I'm picking up low-level signs of infestation across the planet. Are you as well? 
Negative, Admiral. I believe the Atrosi were being truthful here. There's no sign of Jansuli infestation on our sensors. It could be residual traces left behind when they move the eggs. Or it could be shielded pockets of infestation. Another crude attempt to deceive us. We must be certain, Captain. Prepare to scour Atosi Prime. Sir, with all due respect, Atosi Prime is not a threat to us. There's no need for this. There is every need, Captain. Since you appear to be incapable of following my orders, I will deal with Atosi Prime myself. Tactical, prepare to fire a protomatter torpedo at Atosi Prime. Admiral, no. Don't do this, sir. No, we're not a threat. We're not... Stomach no more after that. I could no longer walk upon the path of madness. My crew felt the same. Together, we began to walk a new path. It is done. In light of your service to the Autarch and the Coalition, I will not have you shot for treason. If it were anyone else, be warned. Next time you see fit to walk the path of disobedience, I will not stay my hand. I'll see to it that your entire lineage is purged from existence to the last scale and egg. Do I make myself clear, Captain? Yes, you do, sir. Helm, get us out of here. <sighs> Admiral Zen Tarak has a lot to answer for. We can only hope the Zenkethi Crusade has come to an end at last and that nothing like this ever happens again. Agreed. That path, that choice, led me to where we are now. Walking it ultimately gave me the strength to stand against the Admiral and defect to the Alliance. I think we can both agree that journey has reached its end. From this point forward, I begin to walk along the path of atonement. That journey will never end for me, but I will help as many as I can with every step I take. That's an honorable path to take there, Nuthpar. Thank you. I hope your superiors have the same opinion as well. As long as the Autarch lives, he will continue to pursue his insane crusade. I believe I can be of use to the Alliance when the time comes to stop him once and for all. Read. I shall abide by their decision until our paths merge once more. Until then, goodbye, Nathpar. Emerald, you ready to return to, your sh to the ship? Yes, beam me up. Been a long day. It sounds like Captain Parr has had some harrowing experiences out there. It's clear that the Autark is dedicated to wiping out every last threat to the Zenkethi by any means necessary. Disturbing. Alliance officials will be reviewing the Captain's request for asylum soon. The help she's given us, and your report, will go a long way toward the approval of that request. Take the ceremonial pull arm. Next mission is... The Alliance has agreed to Storm a summit Clouds meeting with the Dominion to discuss the return of the Herc, and what can be done to prevent their aggression from devastating all four galactic quadrants. Despite recent events, We've agreed to host the summit at Deep Space Nine. None of the Galactic Powers are comfortable hosting a Dominion fleet deep within their territory. Meet with me at DS9 prior to the beginning of the summit. I'd like to discuss our options. All right. 
And I know what weapon I want to get is the... It's gonna be that Corfield Mining Plasma Cutter. This is where I at Deep Space Nine. Just have to... Readjust here. It's Bajor. And let's begin. Honestly, thought it was going to take a little bit longer. <laughs> Wait a second, I just noticed something. What the? Oh, great, my stream bot jammed up. I think I fixed it, but damn. Venture the Denoria spelled Admiral. I'm reading several civilian vessels on sensors in addition to the flagship of the summit attendees. The station is still damaged from, recent, from the recent attack, but it appears that critical system repairs are complete. Their damaged control teams must be working double shifts. Indeed. Helm, take us to the station. Please, we're low on fuel and supplies. We need help badly. Come on. The High Council has announced several challenges to the Empire oh. worthy of a warrior such as yourself. That's Would you like to review them? Okay, that's right. This is Station Control. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Your docking clearance has been authorized. Several of our docking facilities were damaged in the recent conflict. Please proceed to the provided coordinates. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Alrighty then, let's continue Also, there. Captain Nog is waiting to meet with you on the promenade at your earliest convenience. Enjoy your stay here at the station. Thank you there, Lieutenant. Helm, let's dock. Now wait till we'll stand by while you're at 10th of Summit, Admiral. Are you ready to transport to the station? Yes. Make sure to get the ship docked while, while we're at, while, while I'm there. Hello. Nice to be working with you again. I've been assigned to assist you here on the station. The leaders of the four major delegations have asked to meet with you prior to the summit meeting. Their offices are located here on the promenade. Very well, Captain. Admiral Quinn's office is behind those doors. Oh. Did I mean to do that? Hmm. The results of this summit could have long-lasting effects. A number of our allies, particularly the Klingons, consider the Herc to be a Dominion problem. The Federation sees this as a chance to improve relations with the Dominion. Having allies in the Gamma Quadrant instead of enemies would be a great step toward galactic peace. Agreed. Let's head this way. Ambassador Odo is here. Coordinating security efforts. I'll be blunt. The Herc have decimated most of the Dominion. All but one fleet, gone. It's all the Jem'Hadar can do to keep our remaining worlds from being laid waste. There is no diplomacy with the Herc. We don't know why they're attacking. We're not even sure where they're coming from. I'm sure there are those in the Alliance who would be content to let the Herc destroy us. But where do you think they'll turn once they're finished? That is a good question, Ambassador. That is definitely a good question. <laughs> One second, I need to zoom in here. Here. Seems my bridge officers keep trying to trying to get to me. Tesla Jumpok has an office here. This summit may not end well. 
Most of the High Council sees the Herc as a Dominion problem. They are content to let them fight to the end and deal with any survivors. But there are others such as Martok, who see that position as dishonorable. If they want to fight the war of their ancestors, so be it. But they will be doing so without the Empire. The same could be said for your Federation, should they choose to aid the Dominion. Understood, Chancellor. Uh, let's just continue on here. Here is Proconsul Deton's office. <laughs> yeah. Admiral Dev Devakis standing on a table and Commander Rory standing on a chair. <laughs> Usually Commander Roxy. <laughs> anyway, let's speak to Proconsul Deton. <laughs> this summit may be difficult. While your people will see a path toward peace, I suspect the Klingons will feel the opposite. There is no love lost between them and the Dominion, oh. or the Herc for that Sorry, matter. Sorry, I didn't see the The Republic the position is one of pragmatism. A weakened Dominion will be easier to deal with, and the Herc are a threat no one can ignore. That does decimate the whole Dominion, so they just destroyed 10% of the Dominion, and there's only one fleet left. How weak were they? Let's see. Um, Herc Swarm, Swarm Tactics versus... Which are basically overwhelming numbers. What do you think? <laughs> anyway, understood, Proconsul. There are several Alpha Quadrant leaders here for the summit. Kai Kira of Bajor, Counselor Garrick of Cardassia, and my father, Ferengi Grand Nagus Rom. I recommend meeting with them as well. Their world... Okay, I forgot to turn the music back on. ...into this quadrant. Okay, let's go, Captain. Sway. It looks like Counselor Garrick is in his old tailor shop. Huh. Hello there. I take it you're not here to update your ensemble. Though, if you'd like a few suggestions, I'd be happy to provide some. In the meantime, let's talk about serious business, shall we? I'm sure you'd like to know Cardassia's position on the Herc problem. It's simple, really. They're a menace, and one we should deal with swiftly. Surprised? <laughs> Don't be. Cardassia was recently attacked by the Herc. We'd have fared poorly without help from our neighbors. Even the Lucari and the Ferengi offered a hand. I trust this lesson isn't lost on you. If we stand alone, we're doomed. Thank you, Counselor. Will there be anything else? Uh, nothing at the moment. Next stop. My father is in my uncle's bar. Hard to believe he used to work there, huh? <laughs> I was wondering when you'd come along. I'm guessing you're here to talk about the Herc and what we want to do about them. It's no secret that the Ferengi aren't a military powerhouse like the Klingons. Most of the time, we'd be happy to make a tidy profit from all of this and as far away from it as possible. That changed when the Herc attacked Ferenginar. We would have been wiped out without help. And we didn't get it from Starfleet or the Klingons. We got it from the Lucari and the Cardassians. Even a few not cool ships showed up to fight. That showed us that this is everyone's fight, big or small. So we're in. And if the 34th rule of acquisition comes into play, well... Okay, I'm just curious. How did you convince your people to join? It wasn't easy, believe me. I've managed to get the board of liquidators with us for now. Most of them see the potential for incredible profit. Alliance defense contracts can be very lucrative. The rest, well, let's just say their self-preservation instincts are strong. They'd rather fight with the Alliance than stand alone. The Herc have me thinking about adding a new rule of acquisition. If they can't be bought, get ready to fight! That seems appropriate where the Herc are concerned. Did you have another question? 
Not at the moment, no. All right. I believe the Kai is here, in the Bajoran Temple. Hello there. I suppose Admiral Quinn sent you down here to see where Bajor stands. I can tell you we're worried. The Herc were a few ships away from ravaging our homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to face them, so... Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop the Herc, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. Tough call, but I understand. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently. A sign from the Prophets. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. Bit a revelation, Eminence. Something else on your mind? Not at the moment. The Alliance has asked a number of special consultants to attend the summit. I know each of them well, and I can vouch for their knowledge and skill, even my Uncle Quark. Despite his reputation, his knowledge of the Gamma Quadrant is valuable. Just don't mention Latinum in the discussion, or the value of his information could rise considerably. All right. Before we do, I want to talk to Lita here. <laughs> the Prime U Universe one. Hello. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in this place. I can't believe Quark still has that ugh, hollow me in here. It's a little embarrassing, to be honest. I wish we were all here under better circumstances. But my husband is risking a lot of capital, political and otherwise, by choosing to get involved with all of this. Fortunately, he's the best Grand Nagus to come around in a long time. The best I'll ever, as far as I'm concerned, ones. but <laughs> I'm pretty biased on that point. Look, if I were this mirror version of me I've been hearing so much about, I'd have a lot more tactical advice to offer. As it is, my advice to you is this. Take a look around. Think about all the civilians, the refugees, people who are depending on you to protect them. Think about the best way you can do that. If you can. That's what I'd do if I were in your shoes. Boots, whatever. Anyway, mirror version. <laughs> yeah, in that alternate universe where good people are evil and vice versa, turns out the evil version of me is an admiral there. Real piece of work. Wears lots of leather, carries a whip. Oh, and she's in command of the evil Enterprise. I found out about her from my husband's information gathering specialists. Never hurts to be well informed, right? Rule of acquisition number seven. Keep your ears open and your eyes on the mark. Or rule number 74. Knowledge equals profit. Was there something else? Nope. Th th thank you, though. Just wanted to hear her opinion on, on the Mirror Universe version of herself. Don't suppose you're here for a drink? Hollow sweet? Dabo? Can't blame me for trying to find profit while I can. My fool of a brother, the Nagus, seems hell-bent on getting the Ferengi into this mess. Not a lot of profit in fighting the Herc, 34th rule or not. You can't spend your money when you're dead. If you ask me, We'd be better off sealing that wormhole and saying goodbye to the Herc and the Dominion forever. I'd miss the Tulaberry wine, but I'd get over it. But seeing how that'll never happen, especially as long as Kira's still breathing, I suppose I'll have to dig in like everyone else. You know what the worst part of this mess is? Odo. He's back like a kind of ghost haunting me. I must be cursed. I hear you own a moon now. I do. And I'd be there, enjoying myself. If it weren't for the Grand Nagus. Brother or not, I wanted nothing to do with this until he put Lucari terraforming tech on the table. Couldn't pass that up. It'll cut biosphere renovation costs on my moon by 70%. Even with Odo here, 
and a billion Herc trying to demolish everything in sight, there's profit in the wind. Might finally land that exclusive Tula Berry export contract I've been dreaming about for 40 years. Assuming the Herc don't eat all the Tula Berries. <laughs> Can I get you something? I'm fine for now. And time to f go to Dr. Bashir. Ah, Admiral Quinn's attaché. Nice to meet you. Dr. Julian Bashir, recently commissioned Star Fleet Officer, at your service. We're doing what we can to get things in order after that business with the Zenkethi and the Herc. The station took quite a beating, worse than I saw during the Dominion War. We're still treating casualties, and it looks like we'll be seeing more soon. A lot more. The situation is compounded by the presence of civilians, both local and from other systems, even the Dominion. We have a number of refugees from the Gamma Quadrant on the station, and more are on the way. Clearly, the sooner we can solve the Herc Dilemma, the better. We'll be beyond our capacity to help the refugees soon, as will Bajor. Thank you, Doctor. Something on your mind? Nothing now. There's a number of refugee groups here, on the promenade. Okay, let's talk with... We're lucky to be alive, friend. The endless refugees? There was little warning before the Herc attacked our homeworld. We sent a call to the Founders, but no Jem'Hadar ships came. Our local defense force didn't last long. A few of us managed to get away on ships before the Herc closed in. Word of the Bajorans and their faith reached us after the war ended. There's stories about one of their spiritual leaders. She came to the worst of us, on our prison moon, to bring the wisdom of the prophets. So, when the Herc came, we decided to come here, through the Celestial Temple, to seek deliverance. If the Founders won't listen to us, perhaps Kai Kira and the prophets will. The Kai will help you if she can. The Khmerian refugees? It must be a surprise seeing Karemans here on a Federation station. Let that sink in for a minute. It's so bad in the Dominion that its citizens are looking for safe haven with their former enemies. Uh, the Hurtguard are our only problems with the invasion started was like the Founders forgot about us. No Jemadar came to our rescue, no Vorta with words of comfort or relief, nothing. There's even talk about rebellion of leaving the Dominion altogether. We were the lucky ones. We got out early. I've heard rumors about a blockade keeping the rest of us from leaving the homeworld. It might be true. I haven't seen any more Karemans arrive here for a while now. Oh, please. The Founders have forsaken us. Don't let the Alliance turn their backs on us, too. We'll do what we can to help Ken for you. Yeah. Quinn here. Words. The summit will begin soon. I'd like to go over what you've learned. Red, submitting the report now. Interesting. The Klingon and Romulan positions were somewhat predictable, but I'm surprised by the resilience of the Cardassians and Ferengi. I'm also concerned about the Gamma refugee issue. We'll need to work with the Bajorans to manage the situation here. We should get to the conference room. Report to me there when you arrive. Yes, sir. Okay, how am I getting to the conference room? Turbo lift. And there is not my not my away team. Dr. Admiral Quinn. Well, everyone's here and no one started shooting. Could be worse. Oh, it could be that fun. Was a joke. Take a moment to relax, speak with the others. Things will be serious soon enough. Yes, sir. But I was hoping to start shooting. What do you have my minigun for? Fine. I'm glad you're here. I've been feeling conflicted lately. All the worlds we saved from the Zenkethi were also home to thousands of dormant Herc. By saving those planets, we also saved a great number of enemies. Those very enemies have since attacked a number of worlds, including my own. We also saved billions of lives, Captain. You're right, of course. If only there'd been another way to resolve things. If the Zenkethi would have listened to reason. I suppose we should place our hope in working together to stop the Herc. I can't help but think there's a path to peaceful resolution in all of this. There's got to be some way to end this 
madness before more lives are lost. Perhaps there is. Oh, give me one second, everyone. All right, back. Anyway, let's talk to Kaikiro. Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision we discussed. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. Does this involve your visions? I believe so, yes. The Kai has a condition that has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. I realize this is a lot to take in, but I hope I can count on your help when the time comes. You'll have an eminence. Let's talk to Weiyun here. Greetings. I am Weiyun Ten. I'm glad we had this moment to talk before the summit begins. I trust you relayed everything you learned from us to your superiors. Yeah, also if when... If I may be so bold, I hope that you conveyed a need for cooperation with the Founders as well. At least in matters regarding the Herc, if not in all things. Yeah, Weiyun Ten here, um, is... You, you could tell that he was basically survived the Dominion War, his at least genetic template anyway. And you'll meet him th in that as well. Anyway, of course. And let's speak with General Martok. Jem Pak is more of a political creature than he was. Well, when we were both a lot younger. He's not willing to face the truth. There are Klingons who fear the Herc, hiding behind politics and rules. Grethar waits for their worthless souls. Know this, there are still Klingons who know where their blades belong. We will not dishonor our ancestors and ignore the Herc. We will fight them to our dying breath in the name of Kalos and the Empire. You won't be alone, General. If I can have everyone's attention, thank you. Let's begin the summit. We have a lot to discuss. Thank you all for coming. By now, you should be aware of our tactical situation. The Dominion, as you know it, is on the verge of collapse. We've withdrawn to our core systems, and the lines are holding, for now. Without your help, the Herc will win the War of Attrition. What about your outer systems? We're receiving refugees here, from those areas. We have one fleet left, Admiral. That's hardly enough to defend the entire Dominion. I'm failing to see how this concerns the Empire. The recent battle here is a sample of what the Herc can do. If you think they'll stop at the wormhole, you're sadly mistaken. Need I remind you that the Dominion came to your aid in the Iconian War? I seem to recall Klingons placing high value on debts of honor, or has that changed? Mind your tongue, Changeling! I will not be insulted! Uh oh. Um. Oh, shit! Admiral Quinn to Ops. What's happening? We're under attack, Admiral. It's the Herc! Reading Herc boarding parties! Multiple decks! They've concentrated in the damaged pylon. Or processing area. I need you to get to that damaged pylon section and lock it down before the Herc trigger an explosion that could wreck the station. I'm on it, Admiral. Take a turbo lift down there.
boy. Enemy I hit the regroup bridge officer's button. And why aren't they coming? Bad news. The hangar security shield is on the verge of collapse. If it drops, Here. you'll get pulled out into space. So let's make sure that doesn't happen. You need to stabilize the power relays and recalibrate the shields. There are consoles near your position you can use to do this. Acknowledge, Captain. Stabilize the power relays. Recalibrate the shields. Nice work, but it's not over yet. The Herc have moved into the ore processing area above your position. There's a lot of unstable uranium ore in there. If they damage it, it could ignite and set off a chain reaction that could destroy the pylon. You'll need to make your way up there to secure the area and restart the safety systems there. Understood. Hmm. Looks like the access system in this section was reset. You'll need to rotate the central column and extend the bridges in order to reach the next section. Very well. Rotate pillar up. Extend walkways. I wish I had a light for you guys. Walkways. Rotate pillar down. Extend the walkways. I have forgot. Do I? Where? I must. I must have it somewhere else. Okay, you're almost in the clear. The safety systems for the area are currently <laughs> offline. You'll need to restore power to that section and reinitialize the safety systems to get everything back online. I just noticed that Yoza. Go to refinery, loot dilithium. Got it. <laughs> All right, acknowledged. Okay, restore safety system power. And let's turn the safety systems back on. All right, the safety systems are reinitializing. They should be up and running in a few minutes. Nice work. Hold on, I'm picking up multiple Herc life signs in your area. Oh, that reminds They're me. They're converging on your position. Find dilithium. I need you to defend that section from the Herc until the system comes online again. If they get in before that happens, they could knock it offline again. Or worse. Understood.
Thanks a lot. Sorry, it just turned something move. Types of damage control teams are on their way. Very good. Admiral DS9 commands requested the aid of all available ships in the sector. The station and a number of civilian vessels are under heavy attack. We need your help on the bridge. Transfers are standing by. We're ready to beam back to the ship on your command. Beam us over. By the way, please stick around because we're going to be doing a raid after this. Give me one second, everyone. There we go. All set for after this. The Herc are attacking the station and several civilian vessels in the system. I've sent Star ships Fleet to vessels. assist them, this is Quinn. but I'm concerned protect our forces are targets. spread too thin. I'd like you to work with those ships to protect the civilians while the rest of us defend the station. First Dukan Rex will accompany you as a combat escort. We'll keep them safe, a Ambassador.
Tarzan, get over there! Captain.
boy. That was a fight and a half. I thought we were going to be destroyed there for a second. That was the last of them. We're not picking up any Herx ships <coughs> on long-range sensors. Me? For now, at least. I think it's clear that the Dominion is prepared to work with you to stop the enemy. I hope the Federation is ready to do the same. Agreed. Hmm. In the meantime, our fleet will do what it can to keep the Herc on our side of the wormhole. Tell Admiral Quinn not to wait too long to make a decision. This will reach the Federation faster than anyone would like, believe me. Understood, Ambassador. Let's get out of here. And... That is it for tonight. Well, I thank you all for tuning in. If you liked what you watch, or, watch, or watching, please hit that heart icon down below. This is my normal schedule. Baltic Advanced Universe on Fridays. Any game of my choosing on Monday and Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there or anything that interesting pops in my mind. And this is my Discord server. You joined if you want to hang out with me and all the other floofy headed wolves there. And you'll see whenever I go live there as well. Again, I thank you all for tuning in. We're going to be raiding Endeavor Game On. They're also playing Star Trek Online, so here we go. And again, thank you all for tuning in. Please stay safe out there, everyone. Good night.